one way you can make your smartphone look different and also have some personalized user interface is to change your launcher but which launcher is the best for the job in this video i will let you guys know about my top 5 android launcher you can use to modify and customize your smartphone but before we get to that if this is the first time you join my youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my next updates so guys let's get started and let's see the top 5 launchers you can use for your smartphones i am chapman and this is guys tribe the first launcher i have used and loved is the smart launcher 5 this is more like a simple launcher for your device but it is quite amazing it gives your device a form of a minimum beautification which you would love and the theme that came with it is actually great. Swiping up gives you your app list but not in one page. Smart Launcher 5 groups your app into categories. The first category is the communication category which consists of your chatting apps which includes WhatsApp, Facebook, email and the rest. The next category is the internet category. It consists of all of the app used for browsing and more like it. The next category is the game category, you already know, that's gonna contain all your games. And then, you have the media category, which is for media apps such as Google Play Music, videos, galleries and much more. And the next category is the utility apps category. And lastly, you have the settings category. This launcher actually gives your device a whole brand new look and feel. It's a simple one, but you're going to love it. The first feature of this launcher is Smart Search. Using this, you can search through your contact and your app list real quick. The second feature is a news page. This allows you to go directly to the Microsoft news page which is Bing and you can surf different news categories including tech, sport, entertainment and much more. So it's more like swiping up give you your app list, swiping down give you a smart search, Going right gives your app widgets and on the left you have a news page. Customizing your phone is really nice and easy. You can also turn your display to white and black screen. With Smart Launcher 5, you can do a lot of customization, which includes changing your launcher font and lots more. The next one is one of the most popular launcher ever used on Android, and this is called the Nova Launcher. I have used Loma Launcher in the previous days and I've always loved it and it's made the list of my top launchers. Swapping up gives you all your app in a single page but you can switch from different background color modes to your preferred choice of background color. On top of your app drawer, there is a search button which saves you all the stress of going through all your apps to get the app you are looking for. You can also enable dark mode to give your phone home screen some bit of new look Nova Launcher also lets you customize what your home button does. Tapping your home button can do a lot of different things. On my smartphone, I set that to lock my device. You can also do a lot of customization with the Nova Launcher that really suits your taste, which includes opening app animation, app drawer style from list to vertical to horizontal style and more. You can also customize how your app drawer displays your application list. For example, you can set the number of apps to be displayed at one glance. Nova Launcher really gives you a lot of customization possibilities which is really superb and they make you choose things around on your device. Just like Smart Launcher 5, there is also a paid version for the Nova Launcher and also a free version which you can get on Google Play Store. The next one is the Microsoft Launcher. This launcher is one of the apps designed by Microsoft Corporation. Microsoft Launcher is formerly called the Hero Launcher in the previous years, and it's a launcher you can use directly with your Microsoft account to sync your device all together with your PC. Microsoft Launcher is a simple and powerful launcher you can use on your smartphone and get some personal customization. Microsoft Launcher even brings some features to your smartphone. With Microsoft Launcher, you could use the camera to scan bank codes. And also, you can use the camera as an image recognition tool to detect objects and search about them directly on the internet once the app identifies the object. 
Microsoft Launcher will automatically update your wallpaper daily. So, you get to see different wallpapers every new day. But you can also choose a static wallpaper. This launcher lets you separate your apps based on usage. You can separate your work apps from the rest. With Microsoft Launcher, you can also see the screen time to see the duration of how long you have used your device or the apps. Swiping up your dock shows all your app and also show you some quick settings option. Microsoft Launcher is really a fun one to use on your smartphone. The next one is the Lucid Launcher. This is more like the simplest launcher when it comes to the simplicity and it works great on any smartphone, even bodier smartphones. It allows you to fill the whole of your home screen with all your apps and your widgets just like a normal launcher. Swiping your screen to the right gives you your app drawer and swiping to the right on the app drawer page shows more apps, basically Google app and you can also add more to the list. Lucid Launcher comes with a dedicated browser. This is the fun part because you don't have to open your browser when you want to search anything on the internet. So you can just swipe to the browser and, and one thing about this browser is that it doesn't close the page you have opened. With this launcher, you can swipe anywhere on your screen to get a notification panel if you have set it like that. The last launcher on the list is the ASAP launcher. As the name goes, ASAP, which means as soon as possible. This launcher is one of the simple launchers that gives your smartphone some new look and also some nice customization. So, on the first screen, you have your normal home screen, and at the bottom of that screen, you have the dock, and the dock consists of some of your apps, and this list changes based on your app usage. To see all your application lists, you click on the icon at the top of your screen. ASAP Launcher lists all of your applications in a scrolling page. And at the top of that page, you have a search box which only search for application installed. Swiping gives you your contact list and swiping again shows the weather page in more details. You can get your app list from any page within the launcher. So guys, those are my top 500 launchers you can use on your smartphone. There will be a link in the description below for you to download each of the launchers from Google Play Store. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notification so you don't miss my next update. Thanks for watching, I am Chapman, this is Gaia Stripe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.